What's going on everybody? Fearless Beats here and today we're going to make a trap beat from scratch. I'm going to show you my whole process when I'm making a trap beat and exactly what I do every single time. Now let's jump in to this tutorial. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a sound that we're gonna use for our lead instrument. All right, that bell sounds pretty cool, so we're gonna use this. I'm actually gonna turn this up a little bit. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what scale I'm gonna play in. Now you don't have to do this. You could just start making a melody and find your scale afterwards, but I like to start with the scale so that I'm not getting confused along the way and I know that all the notes fit in that scale. So basically what I've done here is I've taken the MIDI notes that are in an E minor scale here and I've pushed them back before the starting point so that we can see exactly what notes I can play in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with this and try to get a four bar melody and then we're going to put it into an eight bar melody and just change a few different things in that second set of four bars and that's going to make it so the user, the listener doesn't get bored and used to the melody. So I usually start off with something really simple and then I go and change it up from there. So you can see I just have this four note thing going and it sounds kind of decent so now I'm just going to increase this to two bars and then play around with it a little bit more change it around but i always feel like once you get a simple bass down it's easier to then play with it and get something more complex so now i got down this little bit of a pattern here and what i'm going to do again is push this two bars into four bars and try to change it up even a little bit more all right so now you can see we got a little bit of a melody going So now we're going to jump this into eight bars and change up that section just a little bit more too and then we can wrap up this first part of the melody. So now I'm going to play around just a little bit more, see if I can add any little things here or there that might make it even better. Alright guys, so what I did is I added some accent notes right here just to give it a little more character so that there's a little bit more going on. So let's listen to this really quick. I'm going to take the last one out there just so this can have its room to shine. But alright, that looks good for our first melody. All right, I'm gonna stick with that. I like how that sounds. So this just changed to a C sharp major. All right, so really quick, I'm just gonna EQ out some of the lows in this before we move on to the next part here. And a good rule of thumb here is once you have one of your instruments playing for eight bars, you can usually let the other ones be four bars or you could also make them be eight as well. But what I'm gonna do is just make a four bar pad melody here. Something very simple. Alright guys, so I threw a little bit of reverb on there. Use the Valhalla Room. I really like this one. And it's sounding a lot better. Let's take a quick listen to this. So now we're going to go to this banging ass 808 pattern that we're about to make. So if you went ahead and laid out your scale like I did with your notes all lined up, you will know exactly what notes you can play with your 808. Otherwise, when you're building your 808 pattern, something that the major producers like to do is they'll actually make their pattern at like 
two octaves above normal so that way you hear more of the tones in the 808 and you can tell when it's out of range or not okay guys so we're sticking with this super basic 808 pattern this is one that you hear a lot it starts off at the root note goes super high and gets a little bit lower progressively let's take a listen to it really quick So basically I just followed the 808 line with the kick and I took out a couple notes here and there as you can see with this. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm keeping this uh, hi-hat pattern very, very basic. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I like to keep it like this so that the artist that's going to be rapping over it, there's not too much going on with the hi-hat so they can still catch their melody and groove, and it still has a little bit of variation so it doesn't sound too straight to the floor. So um, what I'm going to do now is make this into eight bars and just change up maybe the location of where some of these different variations are hitting. So I changed it up a little bit and I added an extra uh, crazy triplet thing here as well. So let's take a listen to the hi-hat really quick. All right, so one thing I like to do with the hi-hats as well is offset them a little bit so that they're not playing at the same time as everything else and they're not interfering with the other things we have. So what I do is highlight everything and just pull it back just a little bit here. All right, so let's just add an open hi-hat in here just to make it a little more exciting. So a super simple hi -hat, open hi-hat, we just placed it in there one time every four bars. We don't want it playing too much so that it's overbearing everything else. So now let's go through here. Let's uh, pan some of our, uh, we'll pan some of our drums here and then we'll adjust some of the volumes and we'll wrap this up really quick. All right, so one more secret before I leave you guys with this tutorial. Um, you can either put this on your pre-master or if you have all your drums routed to a drum bus like I have right here. This is a little bit of a secret sauce here. Just raise the highs because when all of this shit is playing together, it gets muddied out and you can't hear the highs as well. So let's listen to, pay attention to the drums before and after. I'll start without it. So you can see that everything shines bright again and it comes out back in the open. So let's take a listen to what we have here really quick. Alright guys, and that's how you make a super simple trap beat in no time at all. Now if you're wondering how I usually go about arranging my beats, I'm going to leave a little card here at the top of the video right now to my tutorial on how I arrange my beats, exactly how I do it, so that you know how to set it up and get it right in the hands of the artist and they can be inspired and get to it right away. Guys, subscribe here if you're new and hit the like button if you like this. Leave a comment below if you have any other questions and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Peace out.